Hey guys, this is just a video of um, how to add xdebugger to your local docker WordPress instance. Uh, this is good for anyone who wants to do local debugging for development or just general bug finding. Um, so this this is based off our, our previous videos of how to add or how to create a custom docker file to run your WordPress instance. Um, so basically, the, the thing you have to, we'll, we'll guess, that we'll start off at, is um, you will need VS Code. You can use other IDEs, but this one, this tutorial is specifically for VS Code. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our our um, our debug section. Um, you want to create a custom launch.json file. Now you have to look for this PHP option. If it's not enabled or it's not there, um, you will have to ex in install an extension called PHP De Debug, but that's pretty simple to do. So we'll go ahead and add that custom launch file. So there we are. Uh, basically all this is saying is that it'll listen to any applications on port 9000 um, and use that as a debugging platform. Uh, there is some changes to make to this file, but we'll um, we'll come back to that. Um, and for anyone who wants to know, um, that file can just be found in your .vs code um, folder. So if this is a git repo for you, uh, make sure that it's not git ignored, as it is quite important um, if you want to transfer it somewhere else. The next thing we'll have to do is we will need to install uh, our xdebugger module. And um, basically that's um, done by adding a run command which will go ahead and install uh, xdebugger for us so install xdebug like so now the next thing that xdebug needs once after it's been installed is it needs the PHP um, environment uh, variables or the PHP options um, to enable it to run so pretty much we have to create a new file called php.ini like so now the the uh, values that have to be in here I'll just go ahead and copy them across and basically all this file is basically saying is it enable this Zen extension which is what uh, this is what um, pickle is installing it's a Zen extension um, and that just enables that um, then when we come down to here, um, we will be, because we're using a Docker container, it's considered a remote host. So we just have to use the Docker um, instance, so like similar to your local host. Uh, and then the port number will be 9000. Um, and then we will be using VS Code as our IDE key. So that's pretty much all we have to do here. Go ahead and close that. Now the next thing that we have to do um, is around how we get this php.ini um, file into our container. There's two ways of doing that. There's one way we can add it here. So what we'll do would be adding, would be basically copying this file across whenever we rebuild the image. Now there is one downside to this is that if you make any changes to this file, you'll have to go and rebuild the image. So you'd have to docker compose down and then docker compose build um, and go through all that however instead of doing that we can add this php file or php.any file into as a volume or as like a symlink and pretty much the way you do that is very similar to the way we're going to copy it across and so basically all this is saying is uh, get this file and then create a symlink into the container at this location. So go and save that. Um, now the only other thing that we have to do in our docker compose file is we have to add an environment variable to enable uh, PHP extension debug just by assigning it the value of 1. And that's all we have to do there. Um, and now we come back to our our VS Code launch.json file and the only thing we have to add here is a uh, path map and basically what this path map does 
is um, says what directory to look at um, when launching the debugger. Uh, the only reason we need this is because we um, are going to a ro remote uh, system, which would be the, the Docker container. Um, so if, if you weren't running Docker, you wouldn't need this um, path mapping, but because we are, um, we have to in include it. And all this is saying is get our workspace root, which would be our project root, and then uh, create a sim link to the HTML directory, which would be inside of our uh, Apache PHP container. So we go ahead and save that. We'll go and open our terminal and we'll build our image. Okay, so we've gone ahead and built our image. Um, go and clear this. Now, the only other thing um, we have to do is run our containers. Okay, so our containers have been built, as we can see here. Now, we can go to our website. So if we just go to our local host, go to login, we can see that our WordPress instance is running um, perfectly normal. Now, we'll say we wanted to debug a file. I'll just create a, a basic PHP file. Um, this will just output all the PHP um, oops, already exists. Um, basically, this file will just output um, all the PHP info. Um, so if we go back to our website or our local instance and just go info.php you can see it outputs what PHP version we have and all the uh, modules and extensions that are um, set. So just as a basic um, debugging step we can go ahead and just click the the um, breakpoint um, selector there and we'll go run. Um, you can use F5 to start the debugging process um, but I'll just start it like this. And now that's that's created a breakpoint. As you can see here, it's it's on everything and also this uh, line one of um, the info.php. You can turn off everything. However, if you are debugging um, any uh, files that might have an error, um, everything will, will basically get caught um, at that error. Um, so if we go to our website, and we hit refresh, you'll see that it's broke, um, created, it, it's um, got stuck at this point, and we can go ahead and look at all our um, environment variable, or all the variables that exist. Um, now, if this was a variable or something, we'd be able to see what value it was set at. Um, but basically, we can just go ahead and continue on that, and that will resume. So if we wanted to Say for instance, just create a random variable and then see what the value of that variable was. Um, we just create this, hello, and then so we just have to echo it out. Just be, oops, sorry, like so, and then we create a a breakpoint there, and we'll just reset our debugger. And now if we go to our site and refresh, we can hover over and we can see that random var has hello um, as the value that's assigned to it. So I hope that um, helps um, anyone who's trying to figure out how to get debugger, debugger going on their um, local WordPress instance. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.